Boom, what up, Solar Connected only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Starting a little late, my mic was muted because I'm stupid. Like I hit the button, it didn't unmute, but I mean I really can't help you too much, my man. I'm just kind of baiting it like this. Gotcha. Easy play. Good job. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Uh, I should be fine just popping potions here. Alright. So I'll explain what the build does again. Since I explained it well, my mic was muted because I'm dumb. Uh, hold up. Get this. Pop that potion. Nice, still got it. I think I'm missing both of these. Oh, I got one. I need 850 before I back. We gotta be a little a little careful here until we get 850 gold. But yeah, the premise is like a tankier cast build, like thick cast. So against this guy, we're gonna go Frozen Heart slash, well it's tier, then Frozen Heart or Abyssal Mask. Obviously the one that you need first. In this matchup, definitely gonna be getting the Abyssal Mask first. Magic resist is gonna be a little bit better. The attack speed reduction will be good later as well. Alright. Nice. Pop potion. It's gonna be Emax as well. We get that ridiculous slow and that big AoE damage. Oh. Okay. Buh. Ow. <laughs> that was a little bit ridiculous. Alright. I thought I could do that to him. And he just started slapping the shit out of me. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Uh, let's see one of the back ones. This wave's gonna keep pushing to me. I'm gonna grab this. Get this. Nice. Yeah, this wave's gonna shove to me. I'm just gonna wait and grab. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't even go over the runes. Unseal spell book. Should be pretty good. We can use it to swap to like aggressive summoners. We basically use flash teleport to get through lane. The guy who suggested the build suggested um exhaust barrier. But I don't think you can actually do that. You'll just get ganked in top lane. Maybe if you're mid lane, you can get away with that. Even then, if I'm a competent jungler, honestly, if I'm any jungler above plat or gold, I'm gonna notice someone without flash and I'm gonna gank the living crap out of that guy. So I really, really don't like not having flash in a lane. I think it's pretty bad. Unless you're like maybe Hecram. That's about it. You know, maybe Olaf. There's a very few champions that just take ghost, you know? The ones that do tend to go ghost flash. Like Darius and stuff. This is a good situation for me though. Poke with that. Ooh. Free poke. I'll take it. Free poke. I'll take it. I'm almost level 6. I get it off this minion. Come on. Nope. Need one more. Lame. There it is. Alright, beautiful. Level 6 here. All right, little kitty cat, calm it down. Come on, man. Dude, I got it. We're good. We're good. Look at that. See, I can just wave clear. We're good. Don't worry. <laughs> We're good, dude. We're good. Go away. <laughs> I appreciate the help, my man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice little play right there. All right. Ooh, questionable. Questionable. Doing that like I'm full build or something. Gotta be a little bit more patient there. I miss all my CS. Hello. Alright, let's back out. Beat. So it's tier into Frozen Heart or Abyssal Mask. Obviously, we want Abyssal Mask here against this guy. It's gonna be more effective. And then we go Seraphs after that. And then we get the other one. And then we'll get the Warmogs. I'm gonna grab this right here and go for an all-in play. I'm gonna sell this. And wait just a little second here. I might as well be ulting in pool. Pressing W as well, pressing E. Get some extra stacks while I wait, do nothing. Alright, let's go. We'll wait for my stacks to fall off before I ult again. It's gonna cost me 200 mana. Yo, XKen9, thanks for the two months, dude. Welcome back. Boom, what up? Finally catching you. Been watching your bids for a while. Oh, hopefully. 
we do well, you'll be featured in one. Damn it, Ken. Damn it, Ken. What are you doing, brother? <laughs> I blame that double kill on you, dude. <laughs> All right. Easy. I'm pretty sure I just body this guy right now. Lol. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just body this guy right now. Easy peasy, that's Cassidy. Huge power spike already. I mean, once you get level six, in this matchup, he needs to get level 11. So it's pretty close, because, you know, Cassidy really isn't supposed to be able to do that. It's just because I have a lane lead, and it's honestly kind of weak at the moment. It needs time to scale, and I've already kind of hit my, not really hit my power point, but I've scaled up a little bit already. I think I'm gonna Q max second here. I don't really need the mana, because I'm going double mana item. Honestly, I'm going triple mana item. Most of your tankiness is actually going to come from the Seraphs. Think about all the items that we're getting. They're all going to have a ton of mana on them. I should have this potion ticking. Yeah, that's why. I could have this potion like fully ticked. I want him to jump. There we go. Shields, bitch. Shields, bitch. I'll take it. I kind of wish he killed me first, because then I wouldn't, wouldn't, then I wouldn't have given him a shutdown. That would have been good. It's all right. Grab this. Sweet. It's gonna get a lot of plates here. I'll probably get two. Actually, eh, no, he probably only get one. I guess it's not enough wave. If there's a cannon wave here, you get two for sure. All right. I got his flash out of him too. That was good. But we stay at the edge of the bush, wait for him to ward, because we know he's going to ward, obviously. This spot, he's not gonna, just going to face check. If he tries to face check, then I'll just jump. Or I'll just start running as he face checks, it's not a big deal. But yeah, once he jumps, then obviously he can't jump to me after, so I ult away. Then he has to flash to follow up. I'm going to move here. See if I make a play. Nah, it's not going to happen. Alright, no worries. I'm very strong against him right now. I'm fine with him just sitting back like that. It's cool with me. I should be using my W. Every single time. Use Q here. I just need to stack up my mana, that's all. I don't know if I finished that point, but uh, Seraphs transfers like the mana pool that you have into tankiness, right? So our Seraphs embrace shield proc that we use, like the shield active, when we upgrade our tier into Seraphs. It goes off of how much mana you have. So the bigger your mana pool, the bigger the shield's gonna be. So we're gonna get a bunch of like mana tank items. So they have like HP, like Frozen Heart, a bunch of armor, a bunch of mana, uh, Abyssal Mask, a bunch of mana, a bunch of HP. Might teleport. Oh. This is real weird. I'm a TP, I just have to wait for them to commit more. There we go. I just had to wait for them to fully commit. Get this one. Easy. Yeah, I just had to wait for them to fully commit up here. Because once I did that, then it's easy. I can clean that up all day. I'll just swap over to this. I'm probably just going to pop it and all in the guy as I get back to lane. Here. Here. This goes into Frozen Heart later. Let's get back to lane. Want to be basically switching this and using it on cooldown because if you don't understand the benefit of unsealed uh, a spellbook, every time you swap, you reduce the cooldown by twenty seconds. You can do that six times. You really want to you really want to reduce the cooldown as fast as possible. So I'm literally just gonna pop it right here and all in the guy. I want to kite away here. Wait for abilities. I yeah, have to be careful about how we do it, because he still has ultimate, so if I just stand there, I, I really don't want to die. If I die, I give a big shutdown. It's really stupid. Where'd he go? He walked all the way around already? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, where is he? I don't think he's walked around already. Alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? All right, I'll take it. Not bad. We can get plates here. How many did he end up getting? Two. All right. Pressure for plates ourselves. But yeah, you permanently decrease this uh, cooldown by 20 seconds, which is really important because you're supposed to just cycle through as many times as possible. So it's not really about using it. Uh... Oh, man, it's got one HP over there. Trying to predict the jump over the wall. Can't really finish that. Um, hmm. I think I have to just go back top here. Okay, so the thing is, he doesn't have ultimate. Problem is, he has Rage Blade and stacked up. So I don't really think I want to fight that. Pretty sure I just want to chill. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong one. Gotta be careful, mana wise. I mean, I'm fine mana wise, I just can't jump again for a second. Oh, wow, that's kind of annoying. Hey, jerk. Oh! Okay. Chill. Chill. Calm it down. Jesus. Oh, my God. Relax over there, pal. <laughs> Whew. Scaring me, buddy. You are scaring me. I mean, he's... Yeah, be careful. I'd wait for that shit to fall. I'd be careful, man. I'd wait for that to fall off if I were you. Like, let him clear the wave, let him go back. The stacks will fall off, and then you can all in. When he has these two things stacked up, like, I don't think you're winning that. I know I'm not winning that. I just found that out. Yeah, see, he has nothing. Just walk out of that, go back in. Easy peasy. Yeah, all you gotta do is just wait. That's all. Just be patient. Because the stacks are gonna fall off. You can only keep them up while he's hitting the minions. I need to swap this. It's a cycle. You have to be out of combat. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's go exhaust. Ooh, jungler in our jungle. I'm gonna rotate down, see if I can find him. Uh, I'm only at one stack right now, let's jump. The way the jump, oh boy. All right, that works. I'm exhausted, I'm trying to find a play. Oh, they have two here, they're gonna rotate back mid. Um, yeah, that's really no play. I'll let him clear mid and then I go through this way. I have exhaust, brother, we should kind of make something happen. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> you've been revealed. Ooh. Come in here. Okay, relax, son. What the hell? That was sick. Nice play, dude. Oh, I'm running. I have a nice play. I dump this. I think I face check them. I hop this. Be kind of careful. I don't have any jumps. All right. Part of the problem with moving over there the way I did is I used my ult cooldown a bunch. Whenever you use your ult cooldown, look at the mana cost right now. It's 800, and then it just went down to 50. Okay. So each time you use it, it doubles and it caps at 800 mana. That's the other nice thing about the build is we'll be able to spam that a ton. Um, I kind of feel like I should just go for my seraphs here. How close are you? Oh, actually, I'm kind of far. I think I still want to go for my Seraphs here. All right, get out of here. Get this. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this guy's just pressuring. Split, push, split, push. Again, we want to wait for all the stacks to fall off. It's not even just his Rage Blade that stacks up. It's his passive as well. So it's two things. It's like, why fight my opponent when she's at her strongest? I can just wait. I don't think she can win that. Yeah, I don't think you could win that, my friend. I'm pretty tanky. Thank you. Beautiful. With our shields here, yeah. 
Nah, she's stacked up. She obliterates me. It's not even close. I would die so quickly if she was stacked up right there. But the fact that she has to stack her Rage Blade from zero all the way up. I mean, yeah, she can use her E. And that counts as an auto attack reset. So she can, she can use it quickly, get the reset hit. But it ain't enough, dog. <laughs> it is not enough at all. She has to get six autos. Just one quick reset isn't going to be enough. She needs her... Lethal tempo. She needs to basically be stacked up already and then transfer the fight from there. That's the best way for her to do it. That's very difficult because I know that and then I just play around it, you know? I just don't fight her when she's stacked up. It's very easy. Now it can be annoying because you can get a lot of free pressure and you have to like play around it. Alright, nice. Got my Zero some Brace here. Swap here real fast. Cool, cool, cool. I like how you can do that while backing, it doesn't cancel it. Makes it nicer. Alright, I'll get a pink. Rotate out. Ooh, sweet. Alright, so next item we're going to do Frozen Heart, and then we're going to do our Warmonks after. And hopefully by then we'll have enough level so that Warmonks works correctly. Because if we got Warmonks right now, we get 800 health from it. That would put us at, what, 2613? And we need 3000 to activate the Warmonks uh, thing. We get like 80 to 90 health per level, so by the time we get it, we'll probably have just about enough. Worst case scenario, I gotta get a ruby crystal. Not a big deal. Yeah, we'll probably get it around like, oh boy. Yeah, my team just got blown up face checking a bush into Zyra. Not a good idea. We should try and get this. That's the way to go. Doom Rider, what's up, buddy? Thanks for 200 bits. Bringing the plays. Trying. Trying, my brother. Appreciate it, man. Alright, thought I was going to miss that. Nice. I think we should try and do something over here. Almost stack this up. Let our stacks fall off. Jump over. Nice. Yeah, I know. Forced out TP. Oh, whoops. Ping the wrong thing. Ward behind me, try and take this out. I have big ult right now. Oh, he's just to fight me, I'm just gonna kill him. Nah, I didn't hit. Oh, I didn't hit the... Okay. That makes sense. The shield part lasts longer than the... Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I have my ult 4 stack, so like right now, look how much damage my ult does. The 600 damage. The base of it is only like 1 something. Like the base right now is like 220 right now for rank 1. But when I have it stacked up like that, it does way more damage. Oh, I missed my E, I'm so bad! This guy got the kill. Oh, that's gonna be good! Uh. <laughs> I jumped over it. I played. Woo! Alright, not bad. That was clutch. Finishing the Saros right there. Noise. Alright. Beautiful. Shove the tower. Auto W. We should reset. Just reset and go to Baron. That's what I would do. Swap here. Alright, get a pink ward. Nice. Not bad at all, boys. We're getting tanky. Yeah, all we need is like 200 health off of... Yeah, in two levels, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to get like 90 health per level. So, 90 twice. Am I going to finish 5 HP underneath? No, I'm pretty sure I'll have it. All right, sweet. Oh, there's gonna be a guy right there we can make a play. I'm just going on the hunt, dude. I'm so fed right now. I'm be smart about this. Oh, you stole it. I had it. Come on, son, I'm over here. 
Oh man, I had a Penta right there if he didn't steal that one. I legit had a Penta right there. Dude, this champion's so dumb. Oh my god. I'm building straight tank and I'm like one hitting people with my ultimate. That's actually stupid. I'm literally one comboing people with two tank items. And no pen. Holy moly. 3.4k shield. Or 3.4k mana, so the shield's massive. I think we can just straight up end right here. Yeah. Uh, this could actually be bad though. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> They're in a little bit of trouble. I can kind of go back in. Ah, I got baited. I got baited. I think I'm okay though. Alright, we're in some trouble. I need my W to fall off. Alright. <laughs> Nah, I had, I had too many ult stacks, so I just couldn't keep jumping away. I had to like wait for the cooldown. My my W gives me a ridiculous amount of mana back. Look at this. Increase it. Uh, you get five percent of your missing mana when you W, but it increases to twenty five percent when you get a hit on champions. So if I hit a champion right there, that's why I got like twelve hundred mana back or something. No, not twelve hundred. It's like a thousand less. A little less, like nine hundred or something, right? Close enough. Eight nine hundred mana back, and then I'm able to jump away again. Uh, okay, so here we get our war mogs. We're full CDR cap, so I just get this first. Even sell here, get boot upgrade too. Or I could just get these boots. I'm CDR cap already. Um, I might just sell this, get pen boots here. Teleport in. Oh, damn. Oh, this place is gonna be so good for us. They're caught out. I just jump every like 0 0.0 seconds. Hey man, where you going? Hey dude, come back. Hey man. Hey man. <laughs> this is so stupid. I just keep jumping. I could have spellbook swapped to a ghost and taken ghost and ran him down. This is ridiculous, man. The cast is so stupid. Oh my god. This is why I play this champion when I get filled mid lane. But I like hardly ever get filled mid lane. Um, I'd say everybody played good. I'll give it to this guy. Made some nice plays that I saw. Damn, son. 13 and 2. Destruction. Complete and utter destruction. Almost number one damage. Like I said, this guy was doing a bunch. I was so tanky, man. Like, so tanky. You could even get, like, after the war mugs, or even before, you could go with, like, Zanyas as well. Or you can cut this and get a Zanyas. But I don't know. I kind of liked it. We have Transcendence, right? So when we go over CDR cap, we're just transferring that into... Yeah, okay, good. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. I could have gotten those CDR boots. Because they would have reduced my summoner spells by 10%, which would have been good because I'm swapping constantly and using constantly. So I get more swaps, more usage, more cycling through the summoners. I, should, I could honestly be way more efficient with that. I swapped 10, but I probably could have swapped like 12, 13, 14, you know. I haven't played with summoners. Uh, unsealed spell book in a while, so maybe that was why I was a little sloppy. But I, I feel like I could have done more with it. I mean, I was using the swaps to like make plays. Like I used it to ghost to lane. Well, not to lane, but when I was at lane, essentially, used it to ghost to start a fight. I used the exhaust to try and find a play. I found a play with it. Yeah, that was the double kill in bot lane. I didn't get it, but Rengar got the double kill. I don't know. I was using my and I used my ignite for a play. I was using my summoners pretty well. Feel like, but yeah, pretty good. This champion's just ridiculous. <laughs> you just press R and it does so much damage. And when you do this type of a build, it's like kind of idiot proof because you get you just get such a giant mana pool that you can screw up and accidentally waste your R constantly and not like what you really need to do is you need to be cautious of how many stacks you have with your R because you can't really do more than two three big jumps unless you're hitting W every single time. That's why it's really crucial that you hit W on champions. Like more important than hitting E. Because then you get the mana back, and then you can keep jumping. You can snowball the fights like that. But yeah, anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching over on YouTube right now, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream and go up to the top. Click the follow button. And uh, also, click the subscribe button. See if you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. You can also sub if you have Amazon Prime. Connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. You get Twitch Prime for free, allowing you to sub once a month to the stream of your choice. You can pick me. Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.